Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics. Myself, Dr. Amit Kumar Maheshwari. Today's topic is uh, heme catabolism. We all know that end product of heme catabolism is bilirubin. So in today's uh, video, we will see that how this how this bilirubin is formed, how it gets transported, how it gets conjugated, and at the end how it gets excreted. We all know that RBCs has a lifespan of 120 days, and inside the RBC there is a one protein is present that is called as a hemoglobin and this hemoglobin is composed of a two uh, part that is one is called as a known protein part that is a heme and another is the protein part that is a globin. So after 120 days this uh, hemoglobin gets dissociated into two parts that is a globin and heme part and from the globin part the amino acids which are released which will be reutilized amino acid which are released which it will be reutilized for the globin chain synthesis now the remaining heme part we all know that the heme is composed of porphyrin ring and there is a presence of iron molecule also there so this heme is catabolized to bile verdin with the help of one enzyme system which is present in the microsome that is called as a heme oxygenase system and this heme oxygenase system require NADPH and molecular oxygen. Now we all know that this NADPH is derived from HMP shunt pathway. After the action of heme oxygenase, the iron molecule which was present in the heme, uh, which was present in the porphyrin ring is released in, a, in the form of Fe plus 3 which will again reutilize for the synthesis of heme. And the remaining portion is converted into the biliverdin. And mind well, the molecular oxygen which was required for the action of heme oxygenase is converted into the carbon monoxide. And this carbon monoxide is this carbon monoxide is synthesized with the help of heme oxygenase. And this is the only source of endogenous carbon monoxide which is synthesized in the body. It means this is the only reaction by which there is a synthesis of endogenous carbon monoxide in the body. Now, the bilirubin, which is a green color pigment, is reduced with the help of one another enzyme that is called as a biliverdin reductase, which also requires NADPH for its function. And this biliverdin is converted into the yellow color pigment that is called as a bilirubin. So, this is how this bilirubin is synthesized from the heme with the help of two enzymes, one is the heme oxygenase and another is the biliverdin reductase. And mind well in the various entrance exams, it is frequently asked that which is the rate limiting enzyme for the uh, bilirubin uh, for the heme catabolism. So, and the, so the answer is heme oxygenase. It is the rate limiting enzyme for the heme catabolism. Now, uh, now we will see that how this bilirubin gets transported, conjugated and excreted. So this part we all know that hemoglobin, globin chain is removed, heme, heme part from the heme part there is a synthesis of bilirubin which is occurring inside the reticular endothelial system. Now this bilirubin which is synthesized is sparingly water soluble it means it is it require one specific transport protein for its transport transportation which will transport this bilirubin from peripheral tissues to the liver. So, it will be done with the help of one plasma protein which is called as a albumin. So, albumin will get bind to the bilirubin and it will help in, help in its transportation from peripheral tissues to the liver. And various drugs like various antibiotics can compete with the bilirubin for the binding site with the, for the binding site with, with, for the binding site which is present in the albumin. So, various drugs can very well displace the bilirubin like various antibiotics. So, once this uh, bilirubin gets bind to the albumin, it will be uptake by the hepatocytes. So, inside the hepatocytes, this bilirubin will be released and albumin will be removed from it. From it. And the bilirubin which is which is uh, which is uptake by the hepatocytes again it is a water insoluble so to make it water soluble we require one conjugating molecule that is called as a udp 
that is called as a unipy glucuronic acid and we require two molecules of unipy glucuronic acid which will convert this bilirubin into the bilirubin diglucuronide with the help of two molecule of udp glucuronic acid and over here we again require one enzyme that is called as a udp glucuronide transferase and mind well this enzyme that is called as udp glucuronide transferase is present in uh, endoplasmic reticulum so inside the liver there will be the conjugation process will take uh, take place which will convert this unsoluble no water insoluble bilirubin into the water soluble which was non polar it converts into the polar bilirubin so there is at the end of this conjugation process there is a synthesis of bilirubin diglucuronide and we require two molecule of udp glucuronic acid and uh, one important thing you should also remember that for the transport or for the uh, uh, after uh, it gets transported inside the liver the internalization of this bilirubin is done with the help of uh, two protein one is called as a ligandin and another, another is the protein y so this protein name can be asked in a various uh, entrance exams that how this which protein required for the internal internalization of bilirubin inside the hepatocytes so that is one is the ligandin and another is the protein y and the main role of this protein is they prevent the uh they prevent the re reflux of bilirubin from liver to the blood fine so that is the main purpose now after conjugation proce process which take place inside the liver the bilirubin diglucuronide is secreted into the bile in the form of bilirubin diglucuronide only means Uh, the bilirubin which gets converted into into the water soluble one it gets secreted inside the bile and this secretion is a active transport mechanism this one is the this secretion is done with the help of active transport mechanism and it is the rate limiting step for the entire process of hepatic bilirubin metabolism one should remember this thing that this step that is the secretion of bilirubin diglucuronide in the bile which is done with the help of active transport mechanism it is the rate limiting mechanism for the entire process of hepatic bilirubin metabolism now after uh, getting entry into the bile there will be the excretion of bilirubin will occur in the intestine bilirubin diglucuronide which was present in the intestine it gets converted to the urobilinogen or it gets hydrolyzed into the urobilinogen with the help of uh, various bacterial enzymes which was present in the intest which is present in the intestine and the name of the bacterial enzymes is beta glucuronide glucuronidase which converts this bilirubin diglucuronide into the urobilinogen now this urobilinogen it gets converted to the stercobilinogen in the fecal material and this color of stercobilinogen is around the color of this stercobilinogen is this due to the presence of stercobilinogen color of stool is characteristic brown color because the characteristic brown color in the stool is responsible due to the presence of stercobilinogen now the urobilinogen which is the urobilinogen uh, which is present in the intestine the part of it get absorbed from the gut lumen into the uterine circulation the part of uh, urobilinogen which is present which was present in the intestine is absorbed into the uterine circulation so that is called as a enterohepatic urobilinogen cycle and some part of it gets transferred to the kidney via systemic circulation and it gets converted to the urobilin in the urine and it also gets excreted and this urobilin is responsible for the characteristic amber color urine this urobilinogen is in the orange yellow color the urobilinogen is in the orange yellow color so this is how this bilirubin is get transported conjugated and excreted around 
80 to uh, around 80% of bilirubin is converted into the tercobilinogen and it gets excreted around 10 to 15% of bilirubin is uh, utilized into the enterohepatic circulation and around 1 to 2% of uh, bilirubin is converted into the urobilinogen and it excreted via kidney so this is how bilirubin gets transported uh, conjugated secreted and excreted.